guys welcome to my channel i am christine salazar and if you haven't watched any of my videos welcome here um this is my first nail tutorial you guys so i really hope you guys enjoy it um really quick i am not a professional i have been doing my nail my own nails for maybe about a year now um I asked you guys like forever ago on my Instagram. I know I'm so late on this. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I do my own nails at home. And a lot of you guys said yes. So here's the video. I'm sorry it took so long. I just, one, I was still wanted to learn more on how to do my own nails. Because obviously I didn't want to put a video out there and it be nasty, right? Two, um... I had to figure out the setup because I did film the nails, the set I had like previous this set and just the filming and the setup was trash and I didn't want to give you guys just a nasty video, right? So finally, I think I got this set up right and I really hope you guys enjoyed this set. And if you're new here, I also do get ready with me in this video. Well, this whole look, I did it last week. So if you haven't seen last week's video, check it out because then you'll see how I did this makeup and everything. So this is from a photo shoot I was at. I didn't have my nails done then. I really wish I did because I'm loving this set. Look at this, y'all. I was inspired by the butterflies I had going on. Like it was a fairy est type of woodsy, foresty type of shoe and I was really inspired. And I'm, I hate having my nails short and I just didn't have time to do my nails before the shoot. But here I am making this video for you guys and this is a long enough intro so let's just get to it, right? Starting off with nail prep and I will be removing my cuticles using this cuticle remover from Walmart. Then pushing them back. I always like to let the cuticle remover sit for a little bit and don't mind my voice you guys I'm getting over like a little cold but yes that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna go wash my hands after that after I wash my hands I'll make sure they're dry and then go into uh, buffing the nail just to take off the shininess away and be sure to like go on the if you're using a nail file go on the lowest setting because you obviously don't want to mess up your nails so just a light little buff and then I want to go I'm going to go in with a smaller little thingamabob I don't know what those things are called a smaller bit and I'm gonna go more in depth into my cuticle just to make sure like the cuticle part is more removed I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly but I don't really know nail terminology. Then with alcohol, I'm just gonna make sure to remove all the dust. And time to, I got my nails from Amazon and now I'm just gonna make sure they all fit. You wanna make sure they fit from wall to wall. Not too big and if they're a little big, you can always follow them down. I'm using nail prep first and then I'll be using nail primer. You can also file the inside of the nail if you want it to last longer, but um, it really just depends on how much oil your nails produce. So I don't really do that because my nails last about two to three weeks. I'm gonna apply a thin coat of base, base coat. I'm gonna apply a thin base coat to my nails and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Be sure to clean up the sides you guys because then it's gonna like be crusty and we don't want that. We want a clean look. So now I'm showing you my setup because for this part you're gonna have to hold your nail and if you don't have like those little lamps then it will be a little hard so that's why I put my lamp like that. And then you want to scrape off the base coat onto the nail and then just hold it on there 
if that makes sense. I'm showing it to you again. Apply the base coat. And I always make sure to scrape up the last bit onto the plastic part of the nail, the end. Making sure it blends in all seamlessly. I like to, you don't have to do this step, but I like to do it because I like it to look like seamless and blend into my cuticle, if that makes sense. Then as you, as you can see, I accidentally made it a little bit crooked and then it was too lazy to take it off. So I'm just gonna use my file to straighten it back up and then just fix all the other nails and need fixing again you don't really have to do this part this is just a little extra step that i personally like to take that's the good thing about like these gel nails that you don't have to do a lot of filing if you don't want to i'm applying that base coat Again, you don't have to do this part, but I do it because I had already, um, what's it called? I had already filed a lot of the nail just so I can blend it to my cuticle. And now I'm just going to clean it up. So I'll do the base coat just so it can add strength again. I'm going to take this shade B12 um, that I got from my nail supply store. And it's the perfect, like natural nail color shade again make sure to clean it up i use alcohol to clean up my edges and i'm applying these little cute butterflies and it's better to use like a gel type of glue but i don't have that i haven't bought that yet and so i just used my regular gel top coat and i'm applying it all over the butterflies but it is better to use a gel glue on the rest of my nails I will be taking this really pretty lilac color and Beatles has this amazing like gel set that comes with a bunch of colors and taking a little bit of alcohol just to blend that out and so it could look like a what is that word I'm looking for kind of blanking ombre effect so it can look like an ombre effect and then i'm taking that that same shade b124 and applying that just to the bottom part and then blending it out and here i am showing you again using the same brush just to blend it out also be sure to clean up the edges before you cure it and then i'll just cure that for 60 seconds top coat and this is from the brand Jellish and I actually really do like this brand and really do like their top coat it has not failed me yet and my nails do last for two to three weeks that's the set you guys oh be sure to apply lotion and oil Thank you so much you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed it be sure to thumbs it up and let me know if you guys want me to keep doing nail tutorials but this time like i won't do the whole like prepping and all that i did the prepping this time because i wanted to show you guys how i actually do my nails at home but now that i've showed you guys the prep and everything i think i could just put like three nail art ideas in one video or something like that so if you guys are interested in seeing more nail art videos, let me know. And look, now that I have my, <laughs> so annoying. Now that I have my nails done, I'm, I'm talking with my nails. Like, does that happen to you guys? Like, you just want to show them off. So you start talking with your nails, your hands, because it's a whole like, look at my nails. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, thank you again. Ciao, you guys. Besos.